Gloom wood. It sounds gloomy, doesn't it? Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Trapped in a dark Victorian city consumed by an ancient curse, you must plan your survival and daring escape using nothing but stealth, an arsenal of eccentric weapons, and absolutely awful AI. Doesn't say that, I just added that bit in. Use your wit in this surviving, haunting adventure, inspired by the immersive sims and survival horror greats of the late 90s and early noughties. Now guys, I've never liked stealth games, but there's nothing else out, so I thought I'd have a look at this. This is Gloomwood, it's in early access, and it's made by a good pedigree of, of developers, but unfortunately, I don't like it. I really, and I'm gonna tell you why. First off, the settings is good. You, you've got a few settings that you can change. You can rebind all your keys, which is a plus. I mean, it should be, I shouldn't have to say that. Every game should do that, but it just doesn't. You can set your gamma, you can set your brightness and things like that. Basically, you're trying to escape. You start off with no weapons at all. You've got to sneak around throwing bottles and distracting people. You know, you've done it all before. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. that. That's quite fun at times. Then you get armed with a, a little sword. And that gives you a little bit of an offensive capability. Actually, it gives you a lot of... In fact, you don't. I've never even needed a gun yet. Um, I'm just using the sword to kill everybody. And I'm literally killing everybody. Um, I'm not finding this one bit punishing or hard. Um, it does have um, Resident Evil style save. So you have to get to... It's like a gramophone in this. And you can save your game. Um, so it, it is unforgiving in that sense. Because if you do screw up... You've got to do all that again from the last time you saved. And and that's a problem for me because in these games, you kind of want to do a few daring things, but you just don't do it. You just, you, it makes you, it forces you to play safe because if you f up, you've got to do it all again because of the, um, the, the, the poor save option. I would have much prefer to save any time option. And yeah, some people might abuse that and, and save scum, but you know, so what? Let, let people play the game they want to play. You know, you don't have to do that in your game. If you want to be the hero and just, you know, rush into situations and try some experiments and then fail and have to do the last 15 minutes of gameplay again, well, you know, more power to you. I'd rather save, try something crazy, see it come off and feel, hey, that was good, or fail and then try the same craziness again and, and succeed. So I don't get this argument. There is no argument for, for not having saves uh, whenever there just isn't because the customer's always right but anyway the big problem with this game is i mean it's pitch black no matter what you do with the brightness it's just pitch black you're falling into sea and everything you just can't see what's in front of you it's crazy but the big problem is the ai um it's so linear that you know people are just staring at boxes the, the unrealistic things and you just come up behind them and stab them in the back you get two people talking to each other and they, they won't move they'll, they'll just sit there or stand there rather uh, while you sit there and they will just be facing each other blankly just like what, what are you doing why aren't you acting normally there's no normal i've, I've seen no normal action the the pathing is so linear as well of the of the enemy they will stick to exact timings all the time there's no randomness there's no there's, there's no no danger really you just need patience if you have patience this game is piss easy absolutely piss easy if you have no patience then you're going to make mistakes and then you're going to get frustrated because you're going to have to redo the bits again and if you do get seen guys my goodness i've never seen ai combat as bad as this since i played gary's mod first incident i mean my oath guys you just spam 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 so you dodge so it's spam dodge spam dodge spam dodge spam dodge and in between the spam dodge you hit so it's spam dodge hit dodge spam dodge hit dodge spam dodge that's that's that, that's the combat guys it's and, and you know what when i get that in a game it just turns me off so much that i really don't want to play the game anymore and you know the fact that it looks like a game from the 90s I mean, it's all nice. Oh, it's a retro, you know, the retro feel from the 90s. Yeah, what that means is we like the AI, the level design, and the way the game played and handled, and the mechanics. We just didn't like the graphics. That's why people have spent one and a half grand on a graphics card, so they can get good graphics. We don't want the fucking graphics from back then. Well, I don't anyway. I don't speak for everybody. I speak for myself. I don't want, I don't want shit graphics. I want good graphics. My goodness. So... For me, and I haven't, I haven't even, I couldn't even bring myself to finish 
this. It's so it, it just was so mediocre of a game, and it just feels like it's far too early to have been released. It has potential, massive potential. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. This game could be good. I love me first persons. You know, I, I really do. I'm not so hot on the stealth aspects of it, but I like the exploration, trying to find the right key for the right lock, you know, codes for saves, safes rather, and things like that. They're all good. The level design's not bad. It's just the pathing, the AI, the combat, and it's far too dark as well. Um... It's a bit of a, a bit of a negative from me at the moment, but uh, we'll come back to this when it's re when it's fully released. But too early. It's just too early. <laughs>